They want our money, Bertha. But please don't deceive yourself that their interest in us is something more. George, we have to start somewhere. I just want them to look in, and I don't think they'll be able to resist. The Gilded Age starts in the early 1880s. It takes place in New York, and it's about two houses across the street from each other that even though they're stones throw away, they're very, very different. These people arrived in New York and wanted to be great folk. They wanted to be at the top of the heap. That's the basis of the series, these two groups essentially slugging it out. The old have been in charge since before the revolution. They ruled justly until the new people invaded. It's not quite as simple as that. Yes, it is. It's definitely the women who fight against the norm and push for change that help shape in society. They would have been senators or architects or doctors had they been given that kind of education. The men were in their offices and making deals. But the women, what they did with their time was create an entire society. These lives and these worlds existed, and that's why it resonates with people. So what's next? I have a job and the fresh start that I need. The production of it was rather extraordinary, actually. It is so thrilling to watch this finished show now, where the screen is constantly filled with gorgeous things to look at. I've just been astonished by the level of detail, and I find it breathtaking. I think Julian is actually masterful, just the sort of the scale of what he's able to imagine. You know, to be in Julian Fellow's American show, New York show, with the cast of actors that is just unmatched. Throw a rock and you hit. <laughs> a Tony Award winner or uh, an Emmy Award winner. The Gilded Age will be an education into a certain period of American history. I think people will be utterly captivated by it.